everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a fall theme. So we're halfway through September and it's time to start thinking about those fall colors. So we're going to put away our bright colors from spring and summer and we're going to focus on some fall fall theme. So I'm going to challenge you in the next few weeks to get out your reds and oranges and ochres and let's put some fall scenes together. So this set is actually a brand new one. This is uh, the Covered Bridge mini set and it comes with these four elements which I love. Uh, I have done did a uh, tutorial on these birch trees. They sort of needed their own tutorial but they're so fun to use. So this video we're going to use the other three. So we're going to use this tree, the covered bridge, and this little uh, grouping of leaves right here. And then in addition we just need one more image, the small grass from the foliage set. So we only need four stamps to do this scene. So this is the one we're going to work on right here. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start out by stamping the main image. And we want the, um, the covered bridge to be old and rustic again and uh, more of a washed out white. So we're going to start with two colors. So we're going to use the 86 and we're going to ink the image with the number 86. So just get this all inked up here. Uh, a lot of times we start out with uh, blue and 86 violet when we're doing things that are white. But this is sort of an old-fashioned white, and it's a long distance away, so we don't want that bright blue. So we're going to stamp it off a couple of times, actually even one more. And then we're going to re-ink it again with the sepia. And this is going to give us an old, old sort of washed-out gray color, which is perfect for what we need. Okay, so get this on here. Just color the whole thing now with the sepia. And then we're going to stamp it in the middle of our paper. So I'm using watercolor paper. And this is Strathmore Cold Press. Okay, so we're going to start out now by uh, pulling the color out of the lines. This is how every project starts. And this one is no different. So we're going to start out by pulling this color out. When you combine these colors, you sort of get a mixture of color. You get the uh, the blue still comes through, but you also get the sepia in there. So it's a really cool effect. I just really love this. So I'm pulling some of the color out of the lines. Leave those white areas, even when they're small. When you're doing these uh, rocks underneath here, you want to leave those white highlights. So just come in underneath the line and just don't color everything in solid. This area over here is sort of in the shadow. So we're going to come back and add a little more color to that later. And then let's just pull some of this color out into the windows. Just drag that color over. Leave some white areas in here as well. And then we're just going to pull some of this color out. We're going to drag some of this color out. We sort of want this gray looking sky too. So just drag a little bit out to the outside. Okay, we're going to add some color to the roof a little bit later, but we're pretty good right here. Okay, so let's add our trees now. And we're going to just make a mask because um, we want to make sure that we don't uh, stamp over the top of this, this little bridge. So I make the mask the easy way. So I can see right through here where the lines of the covered bridge are. So I'm just going to cut it now with my scissors. And you don't have to be exact about this. You really just want to protect the main area. So if you get a little bit on there, it's okay. Okay, so I've got my little mask here. And I'm just going to cover that bridge just like that. Okay, so now let's get the tree. And we're going to ink the tree in two colors. So we're going to use the, the sepia and we're going to ink the main part of the trunk. And then we're going to use an orange. So you can use any orange. This is a um, terracotta, but you can use any orange that you have. Okay, so we're going to stamp that, and we're going to just put this one like directly behind there like that, and maybe one more. And let's do it again. Make this up. And then add some sepia now to the main part of the trunk. And we're going to stamp this one 
right next to it and maybe one more. Okay, so we can remove this now and we've got our trees back in the background. So we're gonna focus on the trees now next. So we're gonna use this tiny little uh, grouping of um, leaves. They're, they look like tiny little hearts. And if you can see them on here, I don't know if you can see them really clearly, but they should be pointing up. So they look like a little group of hearts and the top, um, the top of the stamp is actually the point. So they look like they're little hearts sitting right side up. So we're gonna start out by inking those um, with a yellow. And this is actually an ochre, but you can use any yellow. And we're just gonna just tap this in. Okay, so it's, it's still about stamping it a bunch of times, but you don't need to go in a circle because we're gonna add more colors here. So we're just, we just wanna get this in here a bunch. Come over here and do this one. These little guys work so great. It's the little tiny stamps that you just use over and over again. And these also are really, really versatile. I just love working with new things. And when I come out with new sets, I just love trying them with things that I already have. And these work really, really well. So let's put some down in here. We've got some, maybe some falling leaves down here. We can put some more over here. You can keep the colors really simple too. Sometimes the fall pictures are really pretty just with a few colors. And sometimes you wanna get every red and orange and yellow um, into the picture and that's okay too. Okay, so now we're gonna come back in with a little more of this orange color. Just tap this in here a few times. We haven't uh, started adding water yet. We're gonna do that when we've got all the colors in here. Add a few more down in here. And into the tree, this is so fun to do. Just keep tapping it in there. And you can sort of fade it out too. So as you go, you can see it's getting lighter and lighter. Okay, let's add one more color. We're gonna go with a red. So this is a pretty bright red. This is a, um, a number 89. It's actually called persimmon, but it can be any bright red. And we're just adding a little bit of this. This is a pretty saturated color. Pretty, pretty strong so we don't want to get too much in here and let's just put a little more of this red in here yeah it looks pretty good we've got lots of color in here so we're ready to start adding the water now so dip your brush and pinch it off we don't want too much color so we're going to just start out by lightly tapping this is a, these are really tiny images, so we want to just blend that color, but we want to still see the, the, um, the image a little bit. We want to see those leaves a little bit in the trees. I'm going to drop this image down just a little bit. Okay, just keep jumping your brush around. Don't get too much water on here. Be careful not to get too much water. And you're not actually, you're not brushing or making any strokes of any kind, you're just tapping. So just lightly tap all this color. You can see it just starts getting more and more vibrant. So fun. And it's really fun changing the seasons too. It's fun doing those bright flower, flowery pictures and um, spring scenes and, and uh, summer scenes, but fall is really fun to do too. I'm gonna do more in the coming weeks, so. I wanna inspire you to get out all these really pretty colors. Okay, that's about all we have to do there. Let's drag a little bit more of this color out. So we can see a little more of the sky. Okay, let's add some, uh, some color now to the roof. 
And we're going to do that off of the palette. So I'm going to mix a little bit of this ochre color and a little bit of the, um, the orange. And we're just going to brush a little of this color onto the roof. Just a little bit. Okay, we can let that dry a little bit. We can come back in and add a little more. Let's put a little blue on here now. This is the number 86 African Violet. So this is the shadow color. So we want to put a little bit of this now back in here. A little more in the windows. Really want to darken these windows. And don't be too careful to color them in solid. Okay. A little bit more under the eaves here. And we're going to have some dark color in here. Okay, looks like our roof is dry, so let's add a little bit more color on here. Just a little bit. You can see I've left some white areas. That's really important to do. Okay, so now let's add some texture to this little bridge. I think this adds a lot. So I'm just going to lightly, with my brush, drag some of this color down. And then I'm going to go back over it with my fine tip. Okay, so I'm going to use the fine tip now of my 86 and really, really lightly. So you don't want to make dark lines. Just carefully drag down a little of this color. And we're just kind of making some detail in here. I think this adds a lot. Do some over here as well. And then come underneath here and just sort of follow these lines. And, and, and um, what you're doing is you're kind of separating these boards a little bit. So just come in here and just go along the bottom, just like that. And if you need to darken anything a little more, go ahead and do that. Anytime that you can get it really, really dark in places, it's gonna add a lot more detail and a lot more dimension. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's get our water in. And water is always seems to be intimidating for people, but it's so easy to do. It's just a matter of brushing things in in a straight line. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna add our water now like this. So we're gonna take a little bit of this. This is the number 86 again. And we're gonna start about halfway down between these, um, these stones here. About halfway down, and we're going to just start by bringing this in straight lines and just come all the way out. Just like this. And then we're just going to kind of wrap this around like this. So we're going to take the water and we're just going to sort of bring it around a corner. Okay, and as soon as that's dry, we're going to come in under here and we're going to make this really dark. This would be a shadow underneath this, this little bridge. So this is going to be really dark in here. Okay, so now let's get our last stamp. That will be our little grass. And we're going to add some grasses in here. And there's still going to be some green, even though it's fall. So we can put a little grass in here. And just follow your water line all the way around. Just walk your grass all the way around. And let's put some up in here. And then back under here. Just put a little grass back in behind here. And you can see how that turns the water as it goes under the bridge. And I'll we'll just bring that around. Actually, let's put a little bit more up here too. This is so fun to put in. And just, just tap it in there about five or six times. Okay, we're going to add some water to it now. Back in here. And just pull that color up and out. Pull 
pull it clear into the water. And you can see how natural that looks. You can put a little darker color back in the back. And a little more color in here. But this here underneath the bridge, that's gonna be really, really dark. And let's put a little darker color back in the windows. You really wanna show that that depth. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's add a few more little things. Let's add a few more of these little leaves on the ground. And we're back in here. We can also add some up on the roof. Just a couple. And add a little water now. And soften those lines. And we've got our first fall season, our first fall scene for the season. Super easy to do, and, and really this one, only four stamps. So you can do these quick and easy, they don't take a lot. And they're super fun to do. Okay, last thing to do is sign and date. Wanna always do that. Sign it and date it. Put it on a card or put it in a frame and give it away and make somebody's day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.